Hello, hello, hello. I'm the Painted Org, and welcome back to another episode of Capella's Big Amante Pro Hunt. I know I start on this screen a lot, but I like to give a rundown of a hunt before we start. So if you can remember from the last episode, we did this hunt, all of a triad. Now, let's go for this one, to hunt two caribou with a shotgun. So in preparation of that, I equipped a shotgun with uh, 12, 12 gauge slugs and a scent moth because you need to get a bit closer. So let's see if this is, uh, this is going to be terrible because you don't get a marker where it's supposed to hit when you hold your breath because it's an open sight, but let's try it. And still. Okay, we need to hunt two. And as we know now, they only count the, the bucks. So we need to get really close. It would be better if we could uh, call them closer, but I had a look and I don't see any calls for the caribou. So we have to make do, we have to get as close as possible before we take a shot. So I'm going to be a bit more careful with this than with the last hunt. So let's see how this goes. Hopefully there's another one in here. Otherwise, I've been quite lucky in this area with a caribou. Quite a lot of activity here. As soon as we get over this hill, or if one of them spots us, then we can go prone. Okay, this time. We need to get really close. See that one. He's a problem child. For this hunt it will probably help to... It might help. But let's crawl closer. We might get a bit lucky. I lost the buck, but that's okay. It's fun. I'll tag the one that's looking at us or has the clearest view of us and then we can try and circumnavigate them until we get to park. Now this is definitely the definition of walk and stalk. Not the fact that we landed basically right next to them and we just stalk but we have to get as close as possible. Do they really have a fighting chance now? Don't want to go too far to the left. Because uh, I don't want the wind to betray us here. Our position away. Let's see if we can find them. They are walking away. Definitely. But I can't pinpoint if they are walking to the left or to the right. The north or to the south. I'm going 
to walk a bit faster. Okay, no, they are heading straight away. Now this guy's a bit suspicious now. Let's lie down. The problem is there's another. I don't know if it's another herd or. Stay alert for shift and winds. Keep downwind your target. Luckily, these guys didn't hear that one. Or didn't get spooked by that one. Now I actually want them to notice me so they can stand still a bit. Bad shot, but let's see. Really a bad shot. That was close, but still off the mark. Couldn't you, you have need to practice your marksmanship to ensure there. a clean shot? Let's follow up. Now, as I said previously, in real life, I would sit down there for another five minutes and just wait. Just wait and listen. But now this is a game. Now I follow up straight away. So heading in an easterly direction. Just listen. Check. Heading in this direction. Yeah, no, you have a seriously injured one. I reckon this area is all hunted out for the day. The animals cleared out. So where's that blood trail? There it is. Let's go and collect this guy. And then we need to track down another one. I'll definitely be losing gear credits on this. But not for the for the hunt itself, but for the for the animals. So let's collect this guy. That looks really uncomfortable, but again, he's not with us anymore, so probably not an issue. Almost there. One trophy left to complete the hunt. Win is definitely not in our favor. But let's walk this way. We place one. See if we can spot anything. I'm going to get into the stand just to see if we can spot anything from here. Got some, yeah, there you go. I only see females. But if opportunity presents itself, I might be tempted to take a take a shot. Because we definitely need more gear credits. And 
and more XP. Why do I keep on forgetting that you have suppressed that M key again? Roofing Crater Bear is a buck in this herd, but it's probably the other, uh, the rest of the other herd. Didn't get. Watch the wind. You don't want to get caught flat-footed if you're suddenly upwind of the animals. Go across again. Chris. Not what I wanted to do, but hey. That's a bit too high. Not really, but that's a stomach shot. Ah, yeah. Right on target. Shooting a running animal is challenging, but also risky. In the future, wait until your target is stationary to ensure a clean kill. I reckon this area is all hunted out for the day. The animals are cleared out. As I said, as far as I can remember, they don't count the the female the female antelope or deer in this game, but you might be surprised. As you saw now, we at the back, the track is lost. And now I'm just heading in this direction because that's where the rest of the herd ran in ran to ran towards. There she is. This northeast region is one of my favorites to hunt in this game. That's just beautiful. That might be the play, yeah. I've got some no noise notifications from over there, but that's probably the rest of this herd, if you can see the tracks heading off in that direction. And it didn't count, the females don't count in this game. Even if there's no point specified that you have to, to collect to complete the hunt, they don't count the females. So. Now I don't want to... These tracks are actually not too old. But these ones are really not old, so this is that, that same herd. But I still don't really, don't really want to spook them if I can help it. Because they might, just might, warn other birds in the area. See if I can go past this bush without making too much of a, a ruckus, but might not be possible. No, it's possible. Just 
gonna wait here for a second or two. And see if. Uh, now it doesn't give me the option to tag these animals. And it's a clear view of, of, the, of them, and I don't know why they don't give me the option to tag. one in here that's just walking. Yeah, she's stuck. Why couldn't that have been a fuck? Would have been great if it was, was a bug, then I could walk up straight to it and <laughs> just uh, take a shot. Watch the wind. You don't want to get caught flat-footed if you're suddenly upwind of the animals. I got a notification from this side. So they're probably heading in that direction. Hopefully there's a buck. That would be great. I want to try and get ahead of the wind, so uh, or get ahead of them, so that the wind is not an issue. But if I can get to a stand or a blind, that would be great. Okay, there's a buck. Just saw it right through there. prone for this. We mark this guy. Let's see how close we can get. Usually when I get so extremely quiet while playing it, it's because I'm concentrating and it's still a bit difficult to to express all my thoughts out loud. Still a bit weird at times, but getting easier. I still the wind's in our favor. I don't want to go too low. Luckily a left lung and a right lung. Double lung shot. Excellent shot placement. Won't go far. Ah, I'm gonna chase you. And I reckon down. this area's all hunted out for the day. The animals are cleared out. There you go, Hantu Caribou with a shotgun. But I hope you enjoyed this episode, it's a bit longer than usual, but we had to get a bit closer. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you in the next one. Cheerio!